Welcome back to Secret Weapons. Today we're taking a look at the Asheville Music Tools Analogger AFG-1. It seems that my perpetual slow climb towards loving all things flanger is on its continuing path up today. This is the Asheville Music Tools AFG-1. Uh, this is, in very classic AMT form, a incredibly straightforward take on over-engineering a flanger. This is what would be described by the AMT team as a whooshless comb filter and modulator. Uh, it is a flanger, it can do flanging sounds, it can do chorus sounds, but it's got this, it's got a couple of really interesting twists on the format. You have, of course, your, in classic AMT form, your different uh, modules to break up kind of how the effect is built. And you also have kind of the classic parameters for something like a flanger, your rate, your depth, or in this case, your amounts, uh, your feedback, and the kind of target frequency you are using as your kind of like base delay time for your flanger. But you've also got a phase switch that gives you everything from classic jet engine whooshing sounds all the way through like the swirl mode, which is some of the coolest kind of shimmery, subtle, unflanging flanging I've ever heard. And it's my favorite mode on this pedal, uh, as well as a really great sounding, slightly mid resonant drive circuit in here. And the kind of secret sauce of this pedal being this envelope control right here, basically a control that responds to your playing dynamics to move the frequency control uh, in kind of in response to your playing, allowing you to get kind of dynamic, responsive flanging, kind of more flanging the harder you play and it goes away when you don't so that you're not just kind of listening to that filter in the background in the way that a lot of flangers can. You have three different waveforms for that envelope control as well. The rate and the amount both have an incredibly wide sweep. You can get almost imperceptibly slow or subtle movements or, you know, classic laser beam sounds as well. You of course also have an expression input and that can be assigned to your feedback, your frequency, your rate, or your amount, making this a deeply versatile little piece of gear. So let's get into our sound samples. Let's stop talking. Let's just take a look at everything the AFG-1 is capable of doing. As always, before we get into our sound samples, let's go ahead and talk through our signal chain and the context we are working in. I am playing a Gibson 59 historic reissue Les Paul into the 1981 Inventions DRV, the Benson Germanium Boost, and the 1981 Inventions LVL. From there, we go to the Asheville Music Tools Analogger AFG-1 up to the Chase Plus Audio Thermae and into our amplifier, which is a Ruby 63 top boost from Universal Audio. From there, we go in stereo to the Von Gaughan Ultra Shear for a bit of reverb and then out to our DAW, which is Universal Audio's Luna. On that intro track, we are also running the Chorus Echo EFX3 by Echofix, but we have taken it out of the signal chain for the purposes of these sound samples. We have all our gain staging bypassed. Uh, we are just using the amplifier and a tiny bit of reverb. This is what our dry tone sounds like. So we have everything set up on the AFG-1 to be a very classic flanging sound, uh, and I think it's a good starting place to kind of explore the various blocks. So let's give a listen to this kind of like stock flanging sound the AFG is capable of. Okay, let's start things off where it only makes sense to, up in this uh, delay block up here. Uh, basically, this is going to be the delay circuit that drives the modulation that is then subsequently controlled by our LFO that is then further modified by this lower module as well with the envelope and drive controls. Um, but at its core, a modulation like this, a time-based modulation pedal, is a delay line being modulated. And over here, you basically have the uh, kind of base speed of that delay and the amount of regeneration in it, basically giving you that resonance flanging sound. So let's start by bringing that feedback down a little bit and kind of like walking through this frequency. Let's actually completely remove our LFO from the equation for the time being and just sweep this frequency knob. Mm -hmm. 
Here at very low settings, you get into like decidedly comb filtering territory. that's just listening to it manually walk through like this if you reintroduce your your LFO you can get a better sense of kind of where each area exists And of course, this feedback being your regeneration, uh, as you bring that up, you're going to go from a very smooth and kind of subtle version of flanging. That increase those resonant peaks. underneath that let's create a kind of a nice resonant flanging sound for some real obvious uh, changes underneath that you have this phase switch right here and in that top position you're going to basically have uh, the airplane which is the whooshy flanger sound, the most classic flanger sound in here. Uh, the center position is going to be swirl, which uh, cuts a lot of the highs or a lot of the more dramatic lows and some of the more dramatic peaks uh, by kind of placing them out of phase with themselves, uh, smoothing the experience out in a very dramatic way uh, to create what I kind of prefer in a flanger, if we're being honest. And then that bottom position is going to be kind of an out of phase position that gives you a much more present low end and more of a vocal character.
hear very vocal, a lot of low resonance, very, very classic flanger at the top. But then you take that. It's a very pretty chorusing in that one, which I really, really like. Okay, jumping back up to that top position, setting the frequency kind of in that more kind of chorus flanging range and reducing that feedback a little bit. Let's take a look at our rate and our amount. So like with all good modulation pedals, this rate can get uh, basically impossibly slow, kind of reduce that, uh, reduce that rate down to like and almost stand still for incredibly slow moving textures. slow dramatic swooshes and then as you move up you get into some like uh, kind of more traditional flanging and even chorus territory in a really nice way and then into some kind of rubber banding and eventually very bubbly territory And that amount is actually slightly different from a normal depth control, which uh, sets between the manual control and kind of the other end set by this. This is applied on top of that frequency control for a little bit more of an expanded tonal range. You can go from, I mean, basically unmoving. incredibly subtle shifts. To dramatic kind of like pitch bends.
So this bottom module here is a really interesting approach to flanging. Uh, the drive is exactly what it says it is. It is a drive, it is analog gain staging with a slight mid focus that just sounds honestly very, very good. Stacks really well with the LVL. All of the gain staging on that intro track was all done by basically maxing this out and giving it a little bit of extra juice with the LVL. Let's start by taking a look at this drive control. Uh, let's go ahead and park our LFO. Um, basically totally zero out the flanger side of things for the second and uh, take a look at that drive. <laughs> Like I said, I think it stacks really well. So let's zero that back out, bring in that LVL. It's a cool circuit. I, I really dig it. And let's wrap things up by taking a look at the envelope control. This is basically a dynamic flanging option, uh, allowing you to kind of disable it at noon and then by moving clockwise or counterclockwise, introduce a kind of version of moving, moving that frequency control akin to your LFO. Uh, that will actually respond to your playing dynamics, giving you the option of doing things like whooshing when you want to and not when you don't. Uh, on the right, you have basically three different envelope shapes from very kind of gradual and subtle up through kind of jittery and very responsive. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a listen. <laughs> You'll notice as the signal dies off, the effect kind of settles out as well. So soft playing. A kind of like overall smoother but slightly faster.
really hear the kind of like top envelopes speed right there. <laughs> Less, less aggressive. 